gosh guys, I just slept in. It's just as well the doorbell went or I would still be in the land of Nod. We're supposed to be leaving here at nine. It's after nine. Like, that was the world's quickest wash ever. My brother got me this top for Christmas and I'm only just getting around to wearing it. I really like it. He's got such good taste. Well, it's similar to mine anyway for like girls clothes. That sounds like he buys girls clothes. He doesn't buy girls clothes. But when he buys clothes for girls, he has similar taste to me. And I love this top and like, can you see this? It's backwards, but it says not your baby. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I better nip on because we're already late. So I've done my makeup because I know we're running late, but I'm not leaving the house without any makeup. My voice sounds really croaky this morning. It's, I've got this cough and I think it's something to do with that. But anyway, this is my makeup for today. And I know that the ring light's in the way, but it's beside the window and the window has the best light, so. So we had a flooring leak and our flooring got absolutely destroyed. The joys of owning your own home when a water pipe bursts. It's, it's pretty much everywhere. Look at this, this is actually a massive puddle of water and it goes all the way everywhere. Like this is fantastic. I've already soaked three massive towels. I'm running out of towels. Ah, oh, the fun. So we're gonna go look at flooring today. This was the pipe that burst that flooded our kitchen. <clears throat> and um, it's funny because we had to use our contents insurance or our buildings insurance or one of those housey insurances. We've had to use that to claim new flooring and um, the bottom of a couple of these cupboards are really warped, so we need a couple of cupboards as well. And the excess is £300, and then of course our premium is going to go up. So all that expense is down to a £6.50 pipe that bursts. Like, how gutting is that? The joys of, of having a home. Here's my Fiat, it needs a wash for sure.
It's not shiny though. No. But it is a nice color. so much. Yeah. It's like a brownie grey. We were just in another carpet place and I wish we had smellogram because it smelled so good in there and I don't even mean like new carpet smell it was like a perfumey smell it was so nice. <sighs> Exploring the possibilities of artificial grass for the kitchen. So as you saw in the video earlier, uh, we had a look at some flooring and we found one that we do really, really like. So yeah, it's just a case of letting the insurance know that that's the one that we want to go with. So yet again, I'm going to talk about how I was in bed with the flu since Boxing Day. Um, and the reason I'm telling you that again is because this is all our Christmas presents. It's the 13th of January and all our Christmas presents are still here because we haven't put them away because I've not been well and Des has been playing nurse. So I should probably do something about that now that I'm feeling a bit better. So I bought this. Uh, when did I buy this? Probably before my wedding day. And uh, we were in the shop, we saw it, and Taz was like, you have to buy this, like, it's Egyptian, you're Egyptian, like, you need to buy this. And I was like, this looks so cool, I'm totally gonna buy it. So I did, and I took it home, and then after I took it home, I, I looked it up on the internet, and I realised that I bought Anubis, which is like some Egyptian god, and I'm a Christian, <laughs> and I have an Egyptian god in my house, so that's kind of awkward. Um, but you know, I had a, a word with a big man upstairs and I told him, like, I haven't bought this to worship it. Um, I just bought this because it represents, like, my heritage and I really like it. So, I'm hoping that we're good. Guys, I'm in such a bad mood today. I've... The slightest little thing is annoying me. Things that shouldn't be a big deal are a massive deal. And I'm even getting on my own nerves. You know, it's okay for other people. If I annoy other people, they can go into another room, they can get away from me. But I can't get away from me. So if I go in another room to get away from me, then I follow me because I am me. And I'm just so sick of my own company right now. Does anybody else get like this sometimes? Are you making the tea? Yep, that's the kettle. No, you're not making the tea. Where, what is your brother done? Really? It's a fascination with the microwave all of a sudden. If it's not one of them making a noise, it's the other.
Today's my first day wearing my wedding rings since Christmas. You've probably heard me go on about it before, but I had the flu and I was in bed from Boxing Day and I didn't get out of bed until the Wednesday after New Year. And um, then I was like straight back at work. So this is like the first time I've been able to put on my wedding rings since Christmas Day. And I hurt myself at work, like, I don't know if this is going to focus. Yeah, I took a gouge out of my finger and it's really sore and what makes it worse is it's in a really awkward place, like it's just on the tip of my finger. So like every time I do something it keeps catching it and making it worse and more sore and yeah. I've gone and put on a house coat and it's not because I'm cold. <laughs> It's because we're away to have chili con carne and I might spill and I don't want to spill on my top. So this is like a, a life size, human size bib for an adult. <laughs> it's only half six at night and I'm really, really tired. Like I could easily put my head down and go to sleep. That chili con carne was really nice, even if I do say so myself because I made it, um, but I didn't have any kidney beans in it because I didn't have any in the house and I wasn't going to go out and get some. So I'm not even sure if you can call it chili con carne because I sent a snapchat to my brother about it and he was like, kidney beans are crucial to chili con carne. <clears throat> so I don't even know if you can call it that, but it was really nice anyway. Like I enjoyed it, Des enjoyed it, yeah. I really like hot food, spicy food, I'm, I'm totally into my spicy foods and um, a friend of mine, he got me this once years ago and I've been hooked on it ever since, it's so nice. <clears throat> it's Professor Payne Indias's Sphincter Shrinker but you know what, it's got a really nice flavour to it, it's kind of like a raisiny, apple-y, spicy hot sauce, it's really good and um, I put it on the the chili con carne and it worked really well with it like complemented the flavor quite well so if you're into like hot food and everything and like spicy hot sauces like definitely i would recommend trying this because it's so good by the way this video is not sponsored at all this is just something that like i really like and well you know i just thought i would share it with anybody that really likes hot sauces you know you're an adult when you get excited over household appliances this is our new toaster that um, our grandma got us and it's really nice, like, I really like it and I think this pattern of the side is so cool. So we did have one before, um, it was a green one and the, like this side stopped working and we only had like that side. We got this one from our grandma and uh, yeah, it was really nice, like, thank you so much grandma. So this is the old toaster that's broken. And I really like this toaster because like, I really like the green colour to it. That's like an awesome colour. <clears throat> but uh, it doesn't work anymore, so... Bye bye toaster. Toaster heaven. Sorry. Goodbye.